current way that everyone is using to remove plastics from our beaches. While our beaches look clean, you can see all that's really in there. But this is all we're capturing. If you look deeper, there's much, much more. This is the new and improved hardware store model. The first one that I made was so easy any of you out there could make it. This one's a little more modified and I'd like to show you how it works. Instead of having the pump inside of the device, now we have it on the outside so we don't have to worry about it getting clogged up. The water is still circulating through the whole system. We have two pumps on the inside, or two hoses, that the pumps are feeding to. We have these aquarium screen filters. This doesn't allow any of the smaller particles or the string to clog up our system and allows more of an influx of water. These hoses now take us out of the situation, so we're no longer putting our hands in there and worried about getting pricked or, you know, getting scratched up. The hoses are much more powerful than the old device, so we're able to circulate more water through faster. That, that's it. So what we're doing using the hose instead of our hands is we don't want our hands inside of this system and possibly pricking ourselves on anything metallic or sharp. So this takes our hands out of the equation and it's actually more beneficial for kids because the kids are the ones that are most active with this whenever I bring it out. What we're doing with these rods is prodding them into the sand. When we prod it into the sand, what it's doing is it's agitating and it's loosening up all these lighter and denser particles. So if we take, hold on, stop. If we take, can you come in here, Brittany? We take and push all of those plastic pieces off that we had caught. There's not that much there right now, but as we go in the sand and you see, as we start to agitate it and loosen all the particles up, you'll see more material start floating to the top. So that's the whole process. One so here is the clean sand that we are left with after we are finished filtering. As you can see, there is no plastic or trash whatsoever. Compared to over here, which is our regular beach sand, you only have to pick up one handful. There's some plastic. There's some plastic. You can go anywhere on Kailua Beach and you'll find these pieces of trash. But not here. This is the material we removed from earlier today. And here's how we separate it even further. So after we gather this material, I'm then taking it back, filling this large mason jar with water, putting a few scoops of the material inside with it, and then stirring everything up. Now in this process again, because we're separating everything through buoyancy, any sand particles that were mixed in there, or any of this uh, natural material that decides it wants to sink, um, will sink. So I usually let this sit for around 10 minutes to let everything settle, uh, and we'll be back in a little bit. This is what we have after about 10 minutes of separation. You can see some of the material decided to fall down on its own, but we are going to take this vacuum pump here and we are going to force the rest of the material to sink on its own. Turn it on.
Well, would you look at that? So get up here at the top. So you guys see all these bubbles and what's happening and with all of this material circulating and floating around. So what this pump is doing here is it's removing all of the air from this chamber. All of the air that is also trapped inside of the natural material, the cells of the wood and other natural material. Now it's doing one of two things, both of which I'm in the process of discovering, and if anyone can help me, that'd be cool. But it is either A, absorbing the water and taking it in place of those air pockets in the cells, or it is collapsing the cells of this material. Either way, it is causing it to become less buoyant or waterlogged and forcing it to sink. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn this off and release the air. Now this way I'm doing right now is by no means perfect. There's still a lot of natural material that gets trapped up top, but I believe the reason behind that is, is that material is floating and staying higher up, so the water isn't able to go into its cells. Uh, but huge separation, huge difference. So this is the original material that we had collected from the beach today, just one bucket's worth. Then after it went through the vacuum chamber, this is what we are left with. And then over here, this is the natural material that we separated from this guy. Now Ray has all the different sizes of sieves that he is going to use to further separate the material. I'm just kind of taking a handful. We're not doing anything specific here. Um, so everything that we are collecting on this top screen right here, is material that is larger than 4.76 millimeters. That is on average what most most beaches and organizations are using to pick up the plastics. So anything smaller than that is being left behind and has been left behind. This is not a perfect process, but with better equipment we can achieve a much, much nicer result. My vacuum pump doesn't pull as much as it could. And I think we can separate even more if we had the right pressure. Yeah, there's plastic in that right there. That's small.